Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to go through uh, the template and dashboard that's been created by Matt Harland over at Rotherham, just because it's a really good example of a template with panels and activation links working with a dashboard and he's kindly let us uh, go through this. So let's have a look at the template first. So obviously I'm not going to relate this to the video, but let's take first things first. So we've got some possessions at the top. Okay, so this means the home team, so Rotherham, or our own team are in possession, or the opposition team are in possession. So it's a manual mode and it's flashing. We see that we've got first half is auto, auto added. So if I right click here, we can see that we've got auto add descriptor. Let's say it was half time now, I could deactivate this one. Right click second half, activate this one. Okay, so that's a nice tip there. So working down, we've got restarts. So let's click this restart. And you see it now comes to our panel where it's saying, okay, where did the kick to go? Uh, where did the kick go to on what type of kick, for example? Okay, so that's from a button linking to a panel. And we can see that that panel needed us to press two things. Okay, so similarly again, let's look at scrums. So manual mode button, so it's recording all this time. It's saying where where was the scrum? And then we come back and say whether it was won or lost. Okay, so same for uh, our own team and same for the opposition. If we go to line outs, we can start doing some more things here. So we'll go line outs. And then we're looking at where was the ball thrown to, for example. So let's go here. And then let's say how many people were in there. And then what was the outcome? So a really clever thing that Matt's got here is that the buttons that I press are also linked back to a button in my home template. So remember in the home template, we had a one or lost. We've got delivery plus and delivery minus automatically turning on one. These other ones turn on, on lost. Okay, so let's go delivery plus and B zone. And we'll turn it back off. And you can see down in our play by play table that we had delivery plus and it automatically turned on one. Okay, so let's do another example of that. Let's go line out thrown to this area. Coincidentally, a line out there. And this time we'll go steal. And you see we've got steal and lost. Okay, so a nice use of activation links between our panels there. A little tip of how to, to add those when you're editing your template. If you click a button, so the way to add an activation link is hold down spacebar, click on your button and click on the one you want to activate it to. If you keep that spacebar held down and press your panels, you can then activate it to a different one. Okay, so let's just look at these panels. So our home one, We've got one here which is our pitch pitch areas. We could see our line out one, our kicks one. Okay, and now two more that we haven't looked at yet. So let's go into those. So this time we're gonna go um, a try. Okay, so there was a try there. And then it's gonna say, okay, what was the conversion? So we can go, when it happens, we go conversion was taken and it was successful. Okay, the other way we could do it, let's imagine that it was a Penalty kick, we could just click on the tab, go the penalty kick, successful. Okay, opposition, we could go penalty kick, successful. Other things, we can start counting up our yellow cards and red cards. And then this one, which I think is really nice as well, of penalties for us, penalties against us. So let's look at penalty against us. Now, what was the reason for that? Okay, and where did it happen? Turnover against us. Why was that? And where did it happen? It's okay, so a really nice way of actually us adding in our information. But what I think is really good here is the dashboard that Matt's got as well. So let's open up this dashboard. And this is going to open up with the information we've been gathering already. Okay, so let's take a look through from the top. Behind here is our little pie chart just showing our differences in possessions. Okay, so this is gonna change. Let's go and play the video, add some more opposition possession. Come back to our dashboard, and we can see that this has changed. We then get an account of how many tries, penalties, conversions, and drop goals. And you can see we've got the score. So we'll come back to the score in a second.
So let's focus on line outs because that's a big part here. Remember, as we were pressing the line out, it's asked us where it happened or where the ball was thrown to and the outcome. Okay, so here we can say it's 50% success and of the two deliveries that we've had, two of them have been clean. So let's go and add a line out to area number two and make it another winner with a negative delivery. Okay, so let's have our template. So we go line outs to area number two and a negative delivery. Okay, and we're gonna have it in pitch zone. Uh, I think we have pitch zone B, for example, here, and we turn it off. So now if we look in the background, we can see it's added up our number here. Three out of five lineouts now, and there's our delivery totals. Okay, these percentages are percentages of where the ball's been thrown to. So we can see there's been five, evenly spread at the minute between these five different areas. Okay, so how this works is the same for opposition side. And the scrums was just looking at one or lost. So something else uh, we've added in here that, that I really like to do as well is when we've got our main um, data label that's looking for that overall percentage, if you duplicate it and edit the label, I like to tick on this absolute value because this gives us some context. So we can see we've got 60% success, but for me it's useful to know what are the numbers behind them as well. So to explain how these are working, obviously we've got our line out clips, whether they're won or lost. Something I'd recommend doing is hiding some things off of your dashboard. So I've got a couple of data labels here. Okay, we've got all of our line outs and scrums, opposition line outs and scrums. So if I look at this line out here, this data label is looking for our own line outs that were one. Okay, so that would give us a number. But to get this percentage, we need to start seeing this value relative to a different data label. Okay, and I can see here it's not going to be number 5426. An easy way before you start doing this, if you hold down a left click on a blank area of your dashboard, Okay, so hold it down for a long time. You see these numbers show up, which are all the IDs of your data labels. So I know that I need to be linking to number 5426 because I'm basically saying, here's the data label of our own lineouts that were one, and we want to relate this to the total lineouts, okay, which is over here. So to begin with, we've gone value relative to a data label, and we know that we're going to go 5426. It tells us it's our own lineouts. We've added in our alert levels. We press save, and we've got this nice outcome. All I would then do, which I did down here, was right click, copy, right click and paste. And if you edit this one, you can simply go absolute value, and we might get rid of our alert levels down here. Press save, and we see we've got that three out of five. Okay, so I really find that a useful one to do. Now, coming back to some of the nice things Matt's done as well, we saw how everything was asking us what zone it went into. So was it A, B, C, or D? And we had the buttons in our template of penalties. Okay, and then it asked us where they happened. So these um, data labels are looking for, so in here, it's going to look for the category of penalty four and then which zone it was in, so C zone. Okay, so it's gonna start adding up and showing us where they are. So let's go and add a penalty in C zone. Okay, so penalty against us for a mall, a mall here. So also keep an eye down here. Something Matt Stan is giving some context to these penalties. Okay, so penalty against, which was a mall. Now we can see how our penalties are being split up. So let's add it into the C zone. Okay, and then a quick tip, you can always double click on your dashboard uh, in the background and that's gonna refresh your info that you've got in there as well. Okay, so what have we got? Other elements down here are totals. This is where you can start using the dashboard calculations. Okay, so these ones, what I find is really useful to do in your template is to make a completely different button that's called calculate because we don't want our 
our calculations based on how many times we've clicked a button, which is what they would do. So instead we make this button called Calculate, we move it off of our visible area of the template, so we're never going to press it. And when we make these data labels, we can link it to Calculate. And what we've done in this one is say we're going to add data labels together, so this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. Again, we've got the IDs of those data labels, so if you needed a quick uh, reminder of which ones to do, you hold down the left click on the dashboard background, and those IDs show up again. Okay, so with that in mind, something up the top here is getting our total scores. So in a sport like rugby, where you get five points for a try, three points for a successful penalty, two conversion, etc., etc., we need to start applying some different values here. So again, I've used the area off of the dashboard, and we made some data labels. So let's look at this first one. So this is a data label that's just looking for our own tries. And all we're doing here is going a numeric value. So however many tries we have, multiply that by five, which gives us our total points. So we can see two tries, total points of 10. One penalty, total points of three, because we're times it by three. Successful conversions here. So we've got own conversion. The important bit here was, was it successful? If so, we need that descriptor in our numeric value of times two. Okay, so that goes in. And then there's our result, and here's our number at the top. Okay, so what we've then done in the top here, in our total score, is very similar to what we did with our totals down here. Edit the label, we can check the calculation button here, and it's adding up all these different data labels. Okay, so, just some nice little tips there, really nice uh, workflow that Matt's got there with templates of different panels, activation links between it, and then a dashboard which links to it. Remembering the beauty of this dashboard is that we can go and save a picture of this after the game, or we can go and click on element, any element that we want. Let's say um, the opposition line out's thrown to this area. So we click that part of the data label, and we can go and watch that clip as it comes through. Okay, or our tries, we click on that element and we can go and watch them. So think about interacting with your team and getting everyone to see stuff. These dashboards are really useful. We've got lots of people benefiting from using just the viewer version of Mac Sport to open up their timelines, review everything from a dashboard and it's just a really interactive way of getting those stats linking up with the video. Okay, so a bit of a long, longer video going through there, but hopefully it gives you some good context and example of a template and dashboard in action. Again, big thanks to Matt Harland at Rotherham for sharing this with us, uh, and best of luck to those guys for the season.